Let's jump I right to it. Too. What's up? All right, I think that's cute. You're good. Good, good, you're good, you're good. All right, we're going to jump right into it. Like, what, what's the hardest part of a breakup? The hardest part of a breakup is that coming up on that fuck you stage. Like, <laughs> you got to depart from the fucking, um, oh, what we could have had, what we should have had stage, da, 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 da. Once you get past that shit, <laughs> cookies. Oh. That's the hardest I ain't gonna lie. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So, like, do you feel like closure is, like, the best thing, to, like, after a breakup? Some of the best closure is silence and getting into your own head. What you thought it was or what you suspected, that's your best closure. Your, your intuition is your best fucking closure. Mm. Right. Why? Why do you think women leave relationship first and then complain about being single or no good men? Um. So with women, we try, try, try. We try to make this whole handbook on how you're supposed to. We we let you do you first, and then what you're doing wrong, we critique. Okay. So after that. What was the question again? Hold on, because it, it was something on the tip of my tongue. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. Relax. Relax. It's cool. Uh, I was saying, why do women leave relationships first and then complain about being single and there's no good Oh, yeah. Reason? So we leave them first. It seems like we leave them first, but if you feel like you got a kid that you can't teach, you're going to let it go. Hands up in the air, right? So we leave them first, but the reason why we complain is because it's like that's our voice out of what we wish the last relationship gave us because we try to coach people through it we try to talk about it we try to understand you and it it, 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 don't, it don't work out so us complaining about being single is we've never wanted to be single we never wanted to leave the situation. It's the fact that we were given no choice. But we still, it's like mourning. You never are ready for death, okay? You're never ready to lose someone. You just know how to cope. So, yeah, even though this person is gone, this person is gone for a semi years, it still hurts. You still complain that you want that person, but in relationship wise, you don't say that it's that person and genuine, you know, genuinely. I mean, gen, gen, gen your gen, generally, damn, mm -hmm. it's wrong my tongue. Um, gen, generally, you never mm -hmm. want to put that out there that oh, I miss this person or this is what it could have been. You just complain about it because people who know you know exactly what the fuck you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So how come is when you're single, you want to be in a relationship, and when you in a relationship, you want to be single? Um, so people show you certain things when they're courting you. It's that mask that is put there. So people could put up front that I'm a good person, I love you for this, da 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 da, and then when you're really like in that shit, and true colors are coming out then it makes me want to be single after that because it's like, God damn, like, I'd rather be single than to deal with this shit. Right. But then when people are single, they want to be in a relationship again. I'm ready to try again. <laughs> okay. Dust yourself off and try again. All right, Lil. <laughs> uh, but don't you feel like for the most part when you meet somebody, you're meeting their representative, not the true person? Definitely. Um... And that's why dating scares me. That's why I constantly go back to exes and people I've already talked to or dated or showed interest because they've already taken time to know me. I don't have to start off from scratch again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so I want to date again. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready for mm -hmm. this, but I'm going to go to something that's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Don't you, don't, you, don't you feel like just because it's comfortable don't mean it's best for you? you know what I'm it's not, but it shows you your worth because if you have that that isolation time 
in that time where you get to know yourself, your do's, your don'ts, your wills, you won'ts, you know, then you can start it off with someone else. But honestly, when you, after those, those type of situations and you try to look for another relationship, you are the biggest critic on that relationship. It's never going to succeed. It's not a rebound. It's a where am I at mentally thing. No, it's a rebound. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a rebound. But uh, don't you feel like dating is me- the dating pool sucks right now because people want to play both sides. They want to deal and have sex with people of their past. They go on these courting and situationships and in the reality, they really think they're playing the other person to try to get another person, but they're playing themselves. Don't you feel like too many people are just double-minded? They just can't make up their mind. They're too indecisive. I'm going to take a sip on that one. Hold on. Because me personally, I can't speak for everybody else. I got that 90s baby love. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Okay. So the dating era now, the music has changed. Mm-hmm. The love language has changed. Everything is fuck bitches, fuck niggas, get money, get what you can get out of them. It's real fucking sketchy. Right. And and that's up to us because I'm not saying that everybody is like that. Everybody doesn't have that mind frame, but it's a lot of people who did pick up on that mind frame. Um you gotta be a you gotta have tough skin dating now because mm-hmm. You gonna get a lot of them motherfuckers who is come up artists, hobo sexuals. They want a place to stay. They want to see what they can get up out of you. They mm-hmm. want to see where you gonna take me. What can I put on social media? Shit like that. Okay. My love language is I don't give a fuck. These niggas. The the word simp. I still don't know what the fuck that means. Okay. <laughs> It's basically a sucker. This is it's another word for sucker. It's synonymous. It's a sucker for a woman, but they tell you to go hard for your boys. Well, I, it's it's given to me. You know what I mean? So uh, I don't know. That's a touchy t- that's a touchy subject right there. But don't you think, yeah. think don't you feel like a simple somebody this is my opinion of the simple. Mm-hmm. You're putting in too much effort on a woman or not even when somebody ain't putting the same effort back in you. You see what I'm saying? That's a simp to me. And, they, and a lot of you, a lot of time they attack that word they suck it up. Being like a simp is someone who's a woman who is like, bro, I'm not going out tonight because my, my, my woman's at home. Or in, in more ghetto terms, my bitch is right here. You feel me? But, but this is my example, though. Like, this, this is how I look at it. I feel like uh, they, uh, this, my definition of a suck is somebody who's putting in effort. Man or female, and somebody's not giving you the same energy back. You're putting That's in better definition, but how the actions I see, you a woman or a man could be giving a person their all. I have nothing else to give because I've given you my all, right? And this person is still like, oh, "That's not enough," and you fight for that person. Like, look at me, I want you. That's what people are making it seem like a sip is. Like, no, that's somebody who loves someone. Motherfuckers is so. But nah, 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 nah. You can't love nobody if they don't love you back, though. So that's my. Opinion. Yeah, but some people are misunderstood. Like, okay, for me, nah, for my, that's, that's... Dude, my dude has been fucked over in between the time that we separated 11 years, okay? Um, He's been fucked over by a couple of people, and it's like. He has these damages, you know what I mean? And so when you try to love him, he he. You know, hold on, hold on. We got we got to move on to another. We got to move on. We got to move on. We got to move on. You rambling right now. We got to move on. But what's your thoughts on what's your thoughts on people? Uh, for the most part, loving want somebody they don't want to back. Though. Like I don't understand. It. I look at it like this. you don't want me. It's, I don't want your ass. The sea, I mean, matter of fact, it's plenty of sea life. You can get a piranha, a shark, a puffer fish. It's so many options. Don't fucking settle. If you know deep down in your heart you don't deserve that shit, keep it pushing. Period. What's the difference in the settling? Because nowadays, settling is like if you can't get the most finest guy, finest girl. That's settling. Settling is a motherfucker dogging you out, and you keep giving this motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. That's out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, right, right. Okay, okay. Do, do you feel like for the most part, relationships nowadays are contingent, though? They're, when when I say contingent, it's based on, you know what contingent means? No, you're going to have to tell me. It's been a long time since I've been out of school. I ain't going to lie. I graduated 2011, okay. 2023. Right. So. Well, basically, contingent, <laughs> contingent is based off what, what that person do for you. What, what that person do for you and how you respond to it. Don't you feel like if that, if that person do that, I ain't going to do that, I'm going to withhold that. It's not based on me just being this natural good person With, to that person. Personally, it's not about financial contingents. Is that is that the right word? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's not about financial contingents. It's about, so I was raised to treat people how you want to be treated. If I give you a whole bunch of love and I communicate with you and shit like that and I don't get it and it's not reciprocated back, then that's a problem. Right, right, right. Basically, somebody who ain't reciprocating the same energy, though. Yeah. Uh, do, do you feel like if a man put his dick inside a woman, he's putting his life inside her hands? Um, If it's without a rubber, for sure. <laughs> if they're both fertile and y'all got, got 18 years in this shit, oh, yeah. Because, I mean, you know. But no, nah, not if motherfuckers is on birth control and shit like that. I don't feel like you're putting a life in nothing because I don't know. I'm just not emotionally attached to certain shit. Right. Okay, facts, facts. Why you think I think nowadays most females rather have a baby by somebody and be attached to this person for the rest of their life or eighteen years of their life. Or whatever the case may be. But instead of marrying before they care, they can get married. And then if the marriage don't work out, that person won't feel you. But they rather have a child instead of have a marriage. Why do you think that is nowadays? So with that one, I can't relate because I now, could have what, been. What's your opinion on it? What, what's your opinion on it? My opinion is that's a fucked up situation because then there's child support, there's deadbeat baby daddies, and you thinking a lot of motherfuckers, my friends, be like, oh, if I had this kid, he gonna straighten up. No, we got the maternal instinct. When we see that baby, we be like, oh, it's not up to the father. You gotta pick and choose your battles, honey. And mm, 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 I can't relate. I'm sorry. I, I think for the most part, a lot of females be having these kids because they don't want to look weird. Or, or they kids, they feel like the niggas will come up and yeah. the kid ain't got to say so in the child support. So the kid don't know what the fuck child support is or nothing like that. It goes to the mother. Mm -hmm. So therefore, she's going to spend shit. You wondering why your kid's coming over. They getting rinky-dink hairstyles, Walmart clothes, and this bitch showing up in Gucci with a new Camaro, okay? Right, right. But I, mm -hmm. Wrong fucking thought. Right idea, right. thought. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and for the most part, I do feel like the child support should be like in the trust fund for the child, or it should be used only for the child, not to supplement your income. Like it should I, be used to pay your phone like bill. The fucking child support should be like a trust fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, I was saying you that. Can't get this shit until you turn 16, 17, 18, when you know the logic of spending money, saving, and shit like that, because nobody is investing that child support into their child. They're going to get their nails done, their tires fixed, putting gas in their car, getting to work, paying rent. So part of having a child, I'm sorry, I may, people might hate me for this, I, my bad, but no, not my bad. Sorry, not sorry. Um, a lot of motherfuckers have kids because the fucking benefit, the benefits. They know this nigga ain't shit. They know all this shit. But if he's working, I can get a dime out of him. It's right. not motivated. It's not about the kid no more. Right. I don't like. It. And, and it's so sad because I don't feel like the money should be used to supplement your income. Like you said, you make great points. Uh, the money it should be going towards the child because if you didn't have that child, you would still have to get your tire fixed, pay your light bill, or That's your car note. Your the, hair. The okay, so my boyfriend deals with his baby mamas. Oh, she needs her hair done. Oh, we am we at this establishment restaurant and she needs food. My mama, when she went out to go eat, if she couldn't pay for me, I wasn't going. Right. It was food at the house. She cooked before she she knew she was going out that day. She cooked before then, told me how to work the motherfucking microwave, and left us there while she went to go eat steak and lobster. That's okay. Well, 
how, how do you feel about this dude right here? Because a lot of women feel like I was watching this talk show. Uh, I think it was The Voice, and it's it nothing but a feminist movement. These talk shows in the daytime. Of women. course. And uh, they were saying that the child support, it's okay for a woman to get her hair and nails done or get a drink. But I look at it like this. No, that money's supposed to be towards the it's, child. It's because, a because It's not to get the child's hair done. It's not to get the child's nails done. It's not for extra income, like, as no. far as private schools and shit. If we can work our way around not having to dish out so much money, then mm -hmm. that's...